Hey guys, this is a requested video of um, kind of how I built my longboard and the finished product. And this is what I got. So, it's brand new, I guess. Well, it's old and brand new. It's finished, finally. Fiberglass is on, nice and sanded. It's really smooth. Got the grip tape on. So, I'm just going to kind of go through the process of how I did it. First, what I did was I didn't use a press. Like, like a fancy one to get concave and everything, which you can use, but I didn't. I just used um, a bunch of clamps and weights. But what you do, you take three pieces of plywood, um, which is what I used. My, the one stuff I used was really old, and it was it had a lot of moisture in it, so it really flexes without breaking. But I used three layers of that, three layers of two-layer plywood. So it's basically six, but it was all built into three, so, um, yeah, and then what I did was, you cover one, you have the first layer, and then you cover that with glue, then you color, cover the next layer with glue, and then you put them together, and then you do the same with the top, and then you just put them down, use lots of glue, you gotta use lots of glue with this, and then what you do is, um, press it, and then lots of glue will come out the sides, so you have to put newspaper down or whatever, just, be careful, I guess. You don't want to mess stuff up. And then clamp all the way around it. Like lots of clamps to keep it nice and together. And then what you want to do is you want to put weights in the middle. You can put it between two blocks and then put weights in the middle if you want. Just for extra concave for when you flip it over and then it's bowed up this way. So that way when you step on it, it's perfectly level. Which mine concaves in this way a little bit. Not a lot, but just a little. So... Then after that, what you want to do is you want to get your design on a half sheet of paper. Or you can take um, a bunch of pieces of paper, which is what I didn't just tape them together, and then fold it, and then draw a design on, and then cut that design out while it's folded, and then lay it down. You'll have perfectly symmetrical um, shape. And then what you want to do once you have the shape drawn on the wood that you just glued, you want to make sure that woods dry too. I'd wait like 24 to 48 hours before. Then what you want to do is once you get it nice and together, you're going to cut out the design. Um, I used a band saw. You can use a scroll saw, skill saw, whatever you have. Just anything will work. But we use a band saw and then sanded the crap out of it. There's a big stain right here which I don't like from the glue. You gotta be you gotta be careful about that too from stains of the glue. But yeah, after it's cut out, then you want to sand the sides really good. You want to get them nice and smooth. Like, see how I have them nice and rounded on the ends. You want to get that. And I really I didn't sand. My fiberglass is still sticking out a little bit, but I kind of wanted it like that so it's not coming off easily. So yeah, then after you have them all glued together and you have all the pieces together. You want to use a pad sander or just regular sandpaper by hand and just sand the bottom and the top so it's nice and smooth and you're not getting splinters all the time. So then, after you have the deck finished just with the building, um, you want to add um, two layers of fiberglass cloth on the bottom. Now you can go on the top too if you don't think it's going to be strong enough, but you want to do it on the bottom. You want to buy fiberglass resin, fiberglass hardener, and fiberglass cloth. What you want to do is you want to mix the hardener with the cloth with whatever it says on the hardener and the cloth or in the resin. You want to put a layer down, a really thick layer, then you want to lay the cloth, and then you want to put another layer, cloth, another layer, cloth, layer. I think. There's two cloths, so use however many that would work for. It. And once you have that on, you need to let that dry. And you need to wear a respirator mask, or just even one of them covers that you wear on your face to prevent fiberglass from going, from flying up into your face. And I recommend fiberglassing outside because it will fume up your house and you'll have to deal with that and it's just a pain. So, do it outside, but, um, once that's all dry, it's going to be hard on the sides. It's going to be really hard to get off, but, you know, it's one of the things you got to do. So, what you want to do is you want to take a file or sandpaper if you don't have a file. And you want to kind of crack at it and cap it until the extra resin comes loose. Then you want to file it down. Make sure you get all that crap off. You don't want extra fiberglass hanging off the sides. 
Then you want to take a really, really low grit sandpaper, like 80 or even 50, and then go around it. And then um, get a pad sander, go over the top of the fiberglass after it's really nice and dry, and um, go all over the place with the pad sander. And that's how you, I got it really smooth. And then add grip tape. And then when you get your trucks and wheels, you want to just drill holes, center it, get it nice and centered, put the hardware on, put the wheels on, bam, you just build a long board. But you want to make sure the thing's nice and sturdy because you do not want a long board breaking while you're riding it. So I guess that's how you do it, and that's my progress so far. Hope you guys like it. This is um 47 by 10.